Uh, hello all, my name is uh, Deep Ranjan. A very good morning to all of you. So today in this video, uh, we are going to see uh, another project called Parkinson's Disease Detection. Okay. So for that, uh, I have taken a data set from uh, UCI, UCI library. So you can see here, uh, like uh, it has uh, 23 number of columns and only 197 records are there. Okay, so it's a very a small data set. Okay, fine. So let's uh, try to understand first what exactly this Parkinson's uh, disease is. Uh, I have a little bit explored about it. So you can see here, uh, like uh, it is a disorder of uh, central nervous systems that affect movement often including tremor and also some uh, symptoms are there like uh, it often starts with a tremor in one hand other symptoms are slow movement stiffness and loss of balance these are uh, symptoms of parkinson's disease so now comes to the analysis part okay so i have taken the data from the uci repository okay so you can uh, download it from here also i will uh, mention the link in the description so first of all i uh, will import some uh, important libraries like pandas numpy matplotlib and also i have imported here warnings because some uh, like uh, import warnings will come so that's to remove that i have imported here warnings and uh, these two things are like display max column and display max rows okay that's nothing else so i'm just loading uh, our data set that is parkinson's dot data uh, you can see here uh, this is our data set only five records I have uh, like it taken here to see so this one has okay you can see there and this is the column name these are all column names are present there I'm just uh, doing the data dot describe df dot describe just to check uh, like uh, whether our uh, like uh, values like count is we can check here like a count mean a standard deviation minimum this kind of things we can check here like uh, you can see here all the counts are same so that means uh, we don't have a null value okay and mean uh, mean for each every column is also given here a standard deviation is also there and minimum and the max value that is also that will come into the analysis part okay uh, that is going to help us this is df.info in which uh, we'll check uh, there is you can see here there is no null value and also you can check here uh, the this first one the name one is a object type and uh, other than that everyone is a float and integer value okay all our numerical values so we don't have any issue about that okay and again i'm checking the null values you can see it's zero everything shape of the data set is 195 plus 24 okay now i'm checking the values count of a status that is our y column so we have a like a one value of 147 and zero of 48 so once mean means you have a parkinson disease and zero means you are a healthy person okay just plotting it okay this uh, uh, values count y values zero and one it's a kind of an imbalanced data set but uh, no worries uh, we'll deal with that okay checking the data types as we have already seen like name is object flow type integer flow that's the thing just splitting our data set like not splitting uh, like keeping x like independent and dependent column separate okay uh, name is not required it's a necessary column so i'm just dropping the name column and also from x like from the independent column i'm dropping this status column uh, that is our y value okay that's fine just uh, trying to fit okay uh, just uh, train to the split okay and after that doing some uh, scaling for that i am using min max scaling scaling our values in between 0 to 1 then passing the value to fit it just uh, fit okay fit transform uh, like just scaling the values then pass it uh, then just importing the xzb classifier okay exibush classifier it is uh, fit x train and y train 
after that you can check i got the accuracy of 89 percent 89.74 and f1 score is 93 so it's a pretty good model okay we are getting the good accuracy and f1 score so what i'm doing here uh, this i'm just importing pickle and saving this model okay saving this model and this uh, standard scaling scaling this is scaling file okay min max scaling file just for future reference because in this uh, like a uh, project we are going to uh, see the end to end not only the analysis part we are also going to uh, like uh, deploy our model on the flask okay and uh, we will we will create a a simple gui for that like a, like a ui for that okay so i have just uh, saved this model model for prediction dot sav format you can save it in pickle form also same for this one so now come to the pie chart okay so you can see here i have already saved my model this saved model is model for prediction and one another is a standard scalar so for flask integration i have uh, used here very uh, simple technique okay i'm just importing some uh, important library like flask and flask tool and also importing pickle because we are going to use their pickle file that sav and this these two files are a pickle file simply uh, this route one this will uh, open simply our, our index.html page when we are uh, passing a get request like whenever uh, first time we'll run this uh, app okay so there will be a only a get request so that will open index.html page and in this predict method everything will be done so inside that predict method uh, there is a if function like if the method is equal to post so it will take uh, information from these many uh, like uh, these many uh, forms or you can say these many uh, columns okay these many things it will take the values like mdbp mdbp fhi these things it will take okay and now after that i have like initialize a file name that is model for model for prediction dot sab loading this file name okay for the prediction purpose and also loading this uh, scalar a standard scalar file okay after that i'm just passing inside our loaded model all these values all these values that we are getting from end user i'm just passing it and uh, before before passing to this model i'm all passing i'm doing a transform okay of this uh, data like as we have already done in our uh, like ns part we are also taking we have transforming our data in between 0 to 1 so same we are doing here we are also uh, transforming our test data in between 0 to 1 and that data will be passed through this model file and the prediction whatever prediction that we will get that will be in the form of 1 and 0 is the classification problem so if we are getting 1 so I'm just printing a message you have a Parkinson disease please consult a specialist else you are a healthy healthy person okay healthy make it healthy person okay that's fine so just uh, i'm just passing this uh, prediction to the html page and it will print it so now just run this code okay so i have run this code i got the url just let me just uh, paste this url here so you can see this is the ui for that and these many things we have to fill and click on the predict will get the values so i'll just uh, fill details like 88 i've also specified the range here like in in which when uh, these two values uh, values will be there okay so then otherwise our model won't predict well so I'm just uh, inserting some values, some random values. Okay, there is no. Let me check uh, how my model is working or not. Let me do that quickly. Okay, just a wait for a second, guys. I'm doing it as as fast as possible okay 
zero 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 four, then zero 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 five, then zero 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 seven, and zero point zero one three, and zero point zero 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 six. How many columns left? Okay, very few are there. Zero point two five, zero point five seven minus seven. 0 0.006 we are close right so 0 0.04 okay. we have already inserted this value now click on predict you can see here a message you are a healthy person so this is our intuint project intuint analysis as well as the fast integration of a parkinson disease project okay so this is fine for this video. Uh, thank you guys. Bye bye.